For much of this week, we've been looking at the breathtaking Yasuni National Park. In our final installment, we're going back to the Ecuadorian Amazon. In 1998, a tribal community there came up with an idea to generate income to preserve their rainforest home. As Nisa Soledad Perez tells us, the silver bullet was, and still is, tourism. These ants represent the spirit of these indigenous people, the Anyangu Quichua tribes people. Anyangu means worker ant. And here at the Napa Wildlife Center, hard work is setting an example for neighboring communities. The tribe built this entire lodge in two years, transporting materials up and down by boat, foot, and canoe. They looked around and decided that bringing people to the Amazon rainforest may be the best way to help save it. All the wealth has gone to the other side, and nothing has stayed here in the Amazon. So in 1998, one of our community members had the idea that instead of using oil, we should do something non-polluting, community tourism. Now their home has become an ecotourism destination, showcasing the wonders of the Amazon. They rise early to prepare the canoes, while others are getting ready to serve breakfast. After that, Remy, our guide, takes us to marvel the wildlife. Just the Napo has created 80 jobs, which equals 90% of my community. The rest come from other communities. With the profits, they built a school, small clinic, a community center, and a new lodge right where they live. The Quichuas have changed a lot. We have better houses now. Before, people would sleep on the floor. No beds, no mattress, no wood frames. Now some of the Quichua traditions are changing. Remy Grefa even went to college in Ecuador's capital, Quito, but returned to the quiet of its forest. The economic development of the Andangu Quichua community, it's not devoted just to men. Women have created their own organization to promote tourism. Here, females dance and play traditional instruments for visitors. They also show their cooking traditions as well as old hunting techniques. If I wasn't working at the center, I would be working at home, taking care of the farm, sowing the plantains, or working the cacao. But they're still far from gender equality. The men of the tribe concede that they suffer from high levels of machismo, and many in the community work really long hours. But one thing the West can learn from them is a delicate balance they've achieved between nature and their community. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CCTV, Yasuni, Ecuador.